Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have another service call for a four pipe fan coil unit and yes in fact this is that nightmare unit that was leaking Thank you to everyone tuning into Jumper Man Tech we have a large four pipe fan coil unit this is the one that was leaking water. Look at all that damage that it has done. I cut this hole last time. Look at that. It was leaking from right here. And won't you look at that, guys. Can you believe it? It actually stopped with my last quote-unquote temporary repair. I done that little repair maybe three weeks ago and they just let this thing leak they couldn't figure out where to shut the water off so we just did that temporary thing we took some gasket material and pretty much wrapped around uh something around the pipe like a pipe clamp and <laughs> honestly some tie wrap some cable ties and it still was leaking slightly but it looks like i guess over time somehow it stopped so they're in luck for that but we just got a service call that we're not heating up the space properly. This is a York unit. It's three relays, no lights on them. One is for the fan F, H for heat. And this one's not labeled, but it's for cooling. So let's see what's going on. So as far as over here, we got two pipes here, two cooling, inlet and outlet, supply and return. And this is for the heating, two pipes, supply, and return. We look up top, the red piece over there is an actuator. And we actually changed the thermostat on this system. And the system does operate electrically. If we look a little closer, I don't know, I gotta climb on something to check. But the yellow says open, so the heating actuator is open not sure if you guys can see but then we actually have the cooling actuators closed so the thermostat is operating the actuators are doing what they need to do and the unit is heating but not that much we only got 83 84 degrees which just isn't keeping up with the demand before i started this video i opened up the bypass just to go back there just to check that leak and make sure like does this thing really stop or did somebody come here and make the repair i was supposed to make so it actually stopped leaking it was literally how i left it somehow i guess there was so much dirt in there or something it must have clogged up the hole and whatever was leaking out but anyways i'm cool with that it's honestly a nightmare to get through here so right now i actually well for me to get through it's such a tight space I only have the space from like my arm to squeeze through. This is the bypass for the heat. When I open it, just so I can get through here, temperature started rising up. So even though it says that the valve is open, and I'm sure it is slightly, we might have an issue where we have an obstruction. So before this valve, we have a strainer. And I know nobody goes up here. I mean, they don't even fix raging leaks. You think somebody does maintenance on this thing? No way. So underneath there, you guys can see the rusted pipe and there's a black strainer case. What I'm thinking is, if when we open this pipe here, we're bypassing the strainer and bypassing the valve, and now we have water flow. I think the issue is there. Either this valve is not actually fully opening or what's going on is that because that strainer is clogged, we're not moving water. What I want to do is to attempt to pull that strainer and see what kind of temperatures we get. All right, just for me to get through here. Gotta go through here. Gotta jump up. Coming backwards. All right. Coming backwards. What a mess. Okay. This is the strainer. I wonder if we could even pull that. Whoa. 
what a mess. I wonder if we could even pull that. Uh, wish I passed that leak. So the leak was right here. You can see I put <laughs> two pieces of gasket material and pipe clamp and some tie wraps. I'm seriously shocked <laughs> that somehow I actually stopped leaking. But it seriously made a mess over here. I was shooting into here. Anyways, where is, where is the valve? See, I think these are vents. As far as here, this is a valve. It's usually, I believe they call that a butterfly valve. Oh man, these things don't even fully seat. I know nobody was doing maintenance here. That was tough. This valve should be replaced. So we got that. And there's another valve right here, right after the actuator. That one goes in. So we're isolated from here to here. All right. All right, so this is a very difficult spot to get to, at least with the camera as well. But let me go through here. Little valve here. We're gonna unscrew this. And it's such a low port and there's no fitting to connect the, like a garden hose or anything. I'm just gonna fit a garbage bag on there and hopefully we drain this thing. Okay. This is closed. Let's see if I can get it with an adjustable. That would be amazing. Let's see if it's not too rusted. Oh, look at that. It kind of came off. Let's see if you guys can even see anything, but it's such a difficult spot to get to. This thing is packed up with dirt. That's definitely dirty, man. I'll tell you that. Now right, let's try to drain this thing. Okay. I opened it. Definitely some mud coming out. Christian, let's get a flathead screwdriver. I want to make sure this thing actually leaks out properly before I pull anything. Alright, sometimes. This thing's gonna get clogged. Oh, I feel something. Oh, I feel some stuff inside there. Alright, got a little bit of water squeezing through. That water is black. And look right here. Look at that piece of dirt that came out of there. I think it's thick. I'm sure this trainer's clogged. You guys can see we are still draining. Let's give it a chance, but look at that water muddy wouldn't be surprised if that strainer is clogged and the air vent as well but we have four bolts on here that's going to be the next step we got to take all those four bolts and pull this apart how much water is coming out now i stuck my screwdriver in there that thing was clogged there's a lot of dirt coming out of here, man. Oh boy. I can hear it. Can you hear that? Sheesh. Straight mud, man. Okay, I threw out this bag and I got another one. I hear a sound where I don't think this valve is actually holding. It's continuing to squeeze through. I think, oh man, that's not good. Where is, I don't know if there's any other valves here. 
close through. Where is that coming from? It's this. Oh man. No way. It's that same main line that's leaking. And no one knows how to shut the water off to. Sheesh, man. Unless it's back feeding from another area, I'm just gonna have to try to close everything that's here. I got my socket set here. Let's put that to the side. Got another valve over there. Let's just close anything and everything that's here. Close that valve, I close the bypass, and I smack this a little bit further with the wrench. And it looks like the water stopped. All right, guys, unfortunately, my socket set is just slightly too small for this. I'm gonna have to just use an adjustable. It's gonna be annoying, but let's do what we gotta do. It is what it is, and it ain't what it ain't, so gonna have to do it the old school annoying way and that's all you can do let's loosen this up it's hard holding the camera i'm doing this hopefully i could even get this thing in here it's so tight and it's pipe in the way all right oh man these things are rusty man Jeez. Might need some leverage on this, man. Oh, man. This thing hasn't been pulled in forever. This is bad, man. This, this is real bad. I like to consider myself a pretty strong person. Where are you even gonna put anything? It's not good. Maybe a little pipe wrench might do. Nope. Oh God. Got one. Oh boy. Wonder. Wonder if I can get the others. The other side is going to be difficult as far as positioning. Oh, one was loosened. And those are going through. Okay. Alright guys, I got them all. They are so rusty. This is so bad. It was a struggle get this out that one's not coming off some more water pouring out a little and I need to get a wrench on the last corner this one too difficult just because it's so rusty man and for the fact I gotta do this with an adjustable wrench that's a nightmare on its own they're all out. Oh man, I think it's packed with mud, man. Look at that. Packed. Packed, packed, packed. Let's get this thing even out of here. That thing is in there in there this is definitely causing issues camera lost battery when i was pulling that thing out but look at this thing completely packed I'm trying to get a good view on the light but that thing is done man seriously bad same thing was with this and all that just came out of there fully clogged i mean couldn't even drain this thing there's still some stuff inside Let's clean this thing up. Wow. That's incredible. 
There's holes in here. This thing is perforated. It's supposed to be holes through here, man. You can't see anything. This wire brush helps a lot. Even the inside of here, so this thing even drains. All those thick things coming out. It's legit rocks. This thing is seriously corroding and falling apart. I would rebuild this, but it's gonna be another visit. Then inside here, we want that to be good too. So this thing even fits properly. Look at that. Still some dirt in there, but look, we're supposed to be able to see through this. See that? The soap? We're supposed to see through this thing, man. I think it was clogged, clogged. And some of this stuff is so stubborn, doesn't want to come out. Definitely good to use a wire brush. But that is a world of a difference. Here I have some gasket material. I don't see anything left in there. I think this should help. I believe this should work. But pretty much I just put this on here, the cover. Made some holes here. Drew some holes there. And then I went around. So pretty much that should work. Also, you're going to want to make a hole in here, of course. You're going to want this thing to be able to drain so you can make a hole in here. That should be fine. Let's cut this out. Make sure you put that hole in the middle so you could actually drain. Kind of just eyed that one out. My main thing is that this thing doesn't leak. I just have a feeling if I put it back, I'm going to be wasting some time. This thing is so out of shape. But I'm pretty much making it the same size as the outside. But what's important is this green ring. Not the inner one of what I'm seeing, the green one. And that gasket is just done. Let's see if I can just something like this also another thing that will be good is if maybe you just drill a hole through there that might be a better option let's see how this works looks like it's cutting it's going through but you really got to be in there to work this you got to get that thing deep It's going through, it's going through. Be careful not to cut yourself through here, but for the most part, I think I got it. Yeah, knife works. I need to ream it out a little, but knife works. Let's get to it. All right, so that's kind of what I came up with. Got the four holes on the edge and we have the space to drain, so. Should work. Let's put this thing back in. Even inside there, it's dirty. Honest thing, honestly, this thing could use a change out. That's why these valves probably go bad as well. You know, it's like all this stuff just clogs it and doesn't let it fully close. Cause it got like rocks in there. Look at all that. Just want the surface to be smooth. And let's go ahead and also the inside, get whatever I can take out of there. Let's go ahead and put everything in. I think so. Yeah, I think this should work. I don't want to risk it without this. I think this this is going to be good. Let's go ahead and let's put the strainer in. This sticks out a little bit. I might need to trim the gasket. The gasket, maybe it'll leave like an indent or something. Yes, it does. Maybe I could use that as like a reference. And cut it out. Oh God, what a mess. Hope this works. It's this indent right here inside this crevice that's where the gasket seems excuse me the strainer seems to sit let's try to cut that out 
oh boy because this there's nothing here and i barely see a gasket on the other side i could try it but i'd rather just put a gasket in there get that out of there and now inside the indent right there that strainer should fit let's try it out Okay, let's put this in. Look at that, how it hits this. This is just in such a bad spot, man. Okay, that's in there. Right there. You see how it sticks out perfectly now? Look at that. Look at that. All right, guys, you can see the gasket sandwich in there. Looks pretty flat. It was honestly a huge hassle to get that thing in there. All right, let's tighten up these bolts and open up the water. We gotta do these is diagonally. This one, then the one across, then this one, and then the one across. All right, everything is nice and tight. Looks decent. Put some Teflon tape on that end cap. I think it's time to start opening some valves. It's tight in here, guys. It seriously is. I hear some water passing through. Okay. This valve is open. Whoa. Thank God this thing looks dry. All right, let's continue. Continue opening up valves. All right. Push this through. This valve says it's open, so it should be open. Looks dry to me. All right. Next one. Everything's just flying over here. Okay. Feel some heat. See what happens all right we definitely got warmer temperatures 89.6 but really it's not that good of heat it's really not i keep noticing on these gauges i see it's going from 80 down to 100 to 110 and it's the same on both sides. I wonder if something's going on with the pumps as well. But as far as temperature, it's 110 coming out, which I confirmed by dumping water using a digital thermometer. And over here, if you guys can see, we've got about 120 Fahrenheit on the right coming in. So we got like a 10 degree spread which is good. Look, now the pressure is getting higher, closer to 120. Pressure is the same coming in and out, same. We've got a 10 degree difference. Let's say coming out is 110, right? But then we have a 20 degree difference, TD, as far as that. I don't know, we also need to account for this. The room that I'm in, I will probably get caught in this rat trap. The room that we're in, it's chilly. It is chilly. And look at this. It's just open to this room. So between 120 coming in, 110 coming out, plus the mix of the cold air in this room, seems like this unit's working now. But before, we would only get similar temperatures and not even that high with the bypass open. 
man, I still don't like this. Seriously, don't. I, I'm curious to see the condition, honestly, of the coil here. I, after looking at everything else, I wouldn't be surprised if it's bad. Look, it's coming down. You guys can see. 89.2. What's going on? Is this thing getting airbound or what? Right, 89.2. I wonder if opening this bypass would do anything now. I know it's open because we're getting heat, but this might just be what it is. They might need to set the set point on the chiller higher, possibly, for these units to have fresh air. As far as like the hotel room units, they might have better heat if the hot water is in. You know if they're sending hot water there because they have a direct return from the room this is just bringing in cold air so i opened up the bypass and it well i just saw that 89.6 then 80 89.8 89 kind of rose right away Let's see what happens. Let's give it some time. Look at the pressure now. Just above 82 or so, about 85. I think it's auto ranging, man. And they're both doing the same thing. I wouldn't say that it's wrong. Is there like a pump that's like short cycling? But even so, since I opened the bypass, it came up a little bit, 91. Turn off the unit for now. I got Christian guarding the thermostat. I am genuinely curious. What does this coil look like? You gotta take this out to change these filters, but I can see they didn't change these. I didn't even want to look in there, huh? Right, let me see, is, is the coil gonna be through? Can I see the coil through here? I gotta change this anyways. Coil's not bad. Coil's actually not bad. I need some more filters. Coil's not bad over there. What about here? closed not bad they got airflow let me get out of here honestly surprised maybe that's one thing they do here change the filters but even then they didn't even change all of them they're like ah, i can't reach in there i'm out all right so that's like, okay. What about this side? It's hot in here. That side looks okay. This looks good, surprisingly. Okay. Okay, the fan is on this end. What's that looking like? Any loose belts or anything? Let's see what that's looking like. Oh, look at that belt, man. Thing is shot. You're not gonna have that full airflow that you want. Blade's kind of dirty, but it's gonna do its thing. What size is this? Definitely need a new belt. Everything's closed at this point. We're already in overtime. BX50, and we could adjust this plate. 
need a new belt. Way too loose. Way too loose. BX50. <laughs> Something really strange is going on, but we're at 92.1, look, and it went down a little. I, it was just at 93 after the bypass was open. Why would it start changing? Why would it come down? It's honestly something tricky here. Definitely that belt needs to be replaced. For the fact that temperatures did slightly go up since we opened up the bypass, there could be some sort of restriction between that strainer and this actuator at this point everything and you know the actuator might not be fully opening or something is like clogged in there which i wouldn't be surprised i've seen them clog before just like that strainer i've changed this before in a different area of course but there i wonder you know if we're gonna pull out that valve and all that stuff like that there might be something in between here clogged. Maybe we'll stick something in there to break it through. And I wouldn't be surprised after all these years not doing maintenance, water got in, it got clogged somewhere in these pipes, you know? Something probably passed through. I would not be surprised. Everything's deteriorating. Also, these pressures, look, now it's even higher. 130, it just keeps changing from 80 to 130 like what's happening 91.8 degrees at the moment all right so as pressure starts coming down my temperature starts coming up a little bit now we're at 91.9 slightly ranging if you guys have any input drop a comment below this point what should i do for the fact we open up the bypass we definitely got better temperatures i'd replace that valve i would replace that actuator listen it's working electrically it's doing its thing but is it really allowing flow we can pull it out and everything like that and we can do our as many tests as we want but between all that labor it might be better off just just getting a new setup and if it does work and everything's cool we can clean it out or something keep that as a spare for emergency or something like that but i think it might be time to do that and look you guys can see 92.5 so what's the pressure here now even lower as the pressure goes lower our temps go up as the pressure goes up with the water, our temperatures come down. Like, what? That's so weird. Like something, something is happening here. Why is it auto ranging like that? Something is up. As of right now, I would replace that valve and maybe even that strainer body and also change the belt. That's what I would do and then test this thing again. And the last thing I'm gonna test here is closing some valves here and see if possibly maybe something's not holding here let's see real quick temperature is at 93.2 with that auto ranging it makes it hard to say like hey if we close these valves that was the issue it keeps auto ranging so it's it's hard to determine that but the last thing i'm gonna do is uh close the two valves for this actuator and see if that makes a difference but seems like 90 90 about 93 is the most we're getting and yeah as pressure keeps coming down that's when we would have the best temperatures it's the highest temperatures man this stuff is blowing my mind i was in between a condensing unit install for a split system refrigerator when we got hit with this and i got another unit to look at after and it's already 6 p.m guys look how rotten that looks man everything looks so bad Seriously. Everything rotted away here. On top of the unit. Alright guys, I think the last thing for me closed the valve supplying this actuator. And there's one more here. If I can close that. Oh yeah, I think I've seen this one. This is the one that goes down. 
awesome. You can't fully close because you hit that and you gotta get a wrench. You can turn it. Like, let's like look over here. If you put, see this? You can take off this handle, put a wrench on that, but this one should have done it. Let's just try to trust that something works here. I'll leave this closed. If we get better temperatures, we also know that this is leaking by as well but this is this is all we can do how to replace this valve possibly even this strainer case rebuild this a little bit better peek inside with a pipe see if anything is going on keep this as a spare change the belt and let's see if we get any results from this and who knows if we're already doing all that Man, just change the vent on that thing. Put something that, you know, you know that works. <laughs> and the, maybe the pipe is even clogged. I mean, there's just so much going on here. Not to mention, that pipe is gonna burst. I'm gonna give this a couple more minutes, but it is what it is. That's it at this point. I say actuator, make sure nothing is clogged in there. Possibly change the whole strainer case because that thing is just rotted away and the pipes underneath to drain and change the belt. Between the temperature of the water and the cold air sucking in through here, it is what it is. Also, this is for a restaurant. Inside the restaurant, they have these glass windows from the floor to the bottom. It's 28 degrees today. And when you put your hand over there, you just feel giant bursts of air passing through. It's so cold. And then in other areas, they just put like gorilla tape, like a thick duct tape to try to cover the seams but there's cold air pouring in there accompanied by this unit that's not supplying such hot temperatures it is what it is and maybe one more thing that we could possibly do to offset things is the engineer could bump up the temperature on the chiller they have an absorption chiller that also does heating maybe if you get those temperatures higher you're gonna have better temperatures here it only makes sense he might need to bump up the set point, maybe another 10 degrees. You know, it's running at 120. I mean, we are getting it. In other areas are better than in some others, but you know what? If it's not a problem, bump up that temperature, man. We're gonna get better temperatures in there. Then they gotta seal those windows. The opposite, so I'm gonna rule out anything on the cooling side. As of right now, it's the best they're gonna get with this cold air drafting in through here and the system being the way it is. I changed that actuator and open up that line to see what's going on in there and let that be. So change the actuator, open up that line, make sure there's nothing in there, change the belt and see what happens. This is the best they're gonna get. Plus they're gonna have to seal all those windows in that restaurant. It's, I mean, it's like a lot of windows. It goes across a long way and every single one of them is leaking hard. Tape ain't gonna cut it, and there's other areas where it's just not taped at all, and it's just freezing, man. So between that cold air mixing, then this cold air mixing in here, it is what it is. But opening this gave us slightly better temperatures. At this point, every degree counts. Every degree. So we gotta see what's going on. There's an issue somewhere between here and here. And that is what opening the bypass is telling me. I'm going to open up that supply line for the cooling in case they go for cooling. But I think that that time of year, is, we're, we're done. We're not in that mid-season anymore. It was 28 degrees this morning. That's it, guys. It is what it is. As far as right now, I'm going to wrap it up. And we'll take it one step at a time. They also need to fix that leak back there before that thing seriously bursts. But if anyone found this video interesting, helpful, whoa if anyone found this video interesting or helpful <laughs> please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week i'll catch you all next time